Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing okay during this COVID-19 period. In this video, I'm going to talk about ultimate stock trading strategies using Bollinger Band indicator. Also, I'm going to talk about characteristics of Bollinger Band, different period and standard deviation used for stock trading. How you recognize different buy and sell signal. When is the best time to enter and exit the stock market? John Bollinger was the creator of Bollinger Band Indicator in the year 1980. The main task of this indicator is to correctly identify the type of market and the direction of the trend so that it can filter out the errors of other indicators. Despite the fact that no one in the world knows the prices in the next second, but Bollinger has been able to predict the future with 95% probability. Bollinger Band, unlike the classic channel, is the dynamic channel, and the slope and the width are constantly updated based on the new market condition. We expect this indicator sent accurate signal to help traders to make the best choice of enter and exit the market. Bollinger Band indicator consists of three elements. The first one is median, which is the 20 day period of simple moving average, right here. The second one is upper band, which also considered as upper band resistant boundary, right here. The third one is lower band, which considered as a lower band support boundary, which is right here. Upper band and lower band have a distance of plus or minus two standard deviation, which is a measure of a statistical dispersion from SMA 12, 20, and act as a resistance level. Bollinger Band shows the price spread in the last month. The higher the price fluctuation during this period, the wider the Bollinger Band will be. An increase in Bollinger Band indicates an increase in volatility and strength of the trend. Wherever the, you see the wider, wider band. And a decrease in its bandwidth means a decrease in volatility and strength of the trend. Wherever the, bound, the band is, this is narrowing, like here. Keep in mind that when it comes to resistance and support recognition, there is certainly no indicator that can compete with the Bollinger Band. Different period and standard deviation used in Bollinger Band indicator. For all markets and issues, the default value SMA20 and the standard deviation two of the Bollinger Band is a good starting point for traders. As you lengthen the number of period involved, you need to increase the number of standard deviation employed. For example, if the SMA period be 20 day, then the standard deviation will be two. If the SMA period be 10 days, then the standard deviation will be one and a half. If the SMA period be 50 days, then the standard deviation will be two and a half. Bollinger Band's buy signal. In a downward trend, if the price trend exit the lower band with the bearish candle and closes outside the lower band and then return back again and closes inside the channel and above the lower band with the bullish candle, then a buy signal is generated.
This is Yo Finance K stock chart. You see the trend is downward indicated with the red arrows R right here. And the first candle exit the lower band with the bearish candle right here. And again, return back again inside the channel uh, above the lower band with the bullish candle right here. And generated a buy signal. And you see that the trend reversed and becoming upward. And if you enter the market right here, you make good money. Another method of Bollinger Band buy signal. Suppose we have two peaks at the end of a downward trend, and the second peak is lower than the first one. If the first peak is completely out of a lower band, and the second one is above the lower band and inside the Bollinger Band channel, then it is the end of a downward trend, and a buy signal is generated. This is Yahoo Finance uh, chart with K stock. The trend is downward indicated with the red arrow uh, right here. And the first peak is completely out of the lower band. This is the one. And the second peak is inside the channel. This is the one. And you see, if we see this situation, it generated by signal right where the blue arrow indicated. And from there, you see the trend is upward. And if you enter the market here, you make you make money. Bollinger Band's sell signal. At the end of an upward trend, if the price exits the upper band with a bullish candle and closes outside the upper band and then returns back again and closes inside the Bollinger Band channel with the bearish candle, then a sell signal is generated. Let's see an example. Here again, Yo Finance chart with k stock and h1 time frame as you see the trend is upward indicated with the green arrow and on the top of the upward trend the candle the green candle exit the upper band and closes outside and again, return back again inside the channel with a bearish candle, the red candle, and closes inside the channel. Then it generated a sell signal. So if you sell the stock here, right here, then you gain lots of money because if you sell it, you do not lose money. Another method of Bollinger Band sell signal. Suppose we have two peaks at the end of an upward trend and the second peak is lower than the first one. If the first peak is completely out of the upper band and the second one is below the upper band, and inside the Bollinger Band channel, then it is the end of upward trend and a sell signal is generated. Let's have an example. This is your finance chart with K stock. Uh, we have two upward trend. The first one is right here 
and the second one is here and you see we have the first peak that is completely out of out of the upper band one of them here another one is here and the second peak which is inside the bollinger band channel one of them here another one is here and that indicates the end of the upward trend and a sell signal is generated right there and another one is right here so if you exit the market you save lots of money It is very important to have in mind that as with all trading strategy, you have to have a good trading plan that include exact risk parameters. If you like this video, thumbs up. Please leave your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.